Okay, now the first thing you want to do is get your illuminator. Take your hard drive USB, plug it up into here, like so. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, so now once you plug that up, you cut on your Xbox. Okay. So now the Xbox is on, so now you wait for the key to read your hard drives. Good, right? sure. See, it says high drive connect, and it says select games two. I gotta wait for it to select because I got three partitions, so I have to wait for it to read all three of them. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer. Aha, hard drive connected. But yeah, now it says all three of them are on there. So if I go to select game this one here select games then I'm going to go to Xbox 360 and then I'm going to go to Call of Duty 3 click on that and then I'm gonna click on the ISO file that's there it's telling me to open tray <clears throat> so now what you want to do on the remote is hit open tray so you can see up there see now that says open tray so I'm going to hit A to open tray. It says opening what? and closing. And then it's going to read it. And then now my thing has changed over there. It says, go down so you can see what it says now. It says 360 Call of Duty. So now it's read it and it's playing. So now it's booting up. So that's the way you can do it if you want to use the Illuminator. If you don't... Uh, want to go through the whole apps thing then you'll just use it this way so those are the two ways that you do it so now on the TV we guys you can see I got the new update and it shows you that yes this is still working wait a minute we gotta set this up give you guys a better view of it okay now <clears throat> now that says mixed media that's what you want to that's what it want to say so what you do now just go over to apps okay click on apps go down over to picture viewer uh, and you see that it says current disk and then you go to your file Xbox 360 and then you choose the game you want to see uh, what do we want to see here need for speed since it has the new um, XGD3, I think that's what they're called. Um, and it, that says eject to load. So that's how you get the game to work. So you go there, you go back home, and then you eject the uh, tray so that the game will play. So now what it does is, even with the new... Um, DEA silent uh, DAE silent update my game still plays I've been online with it and um, I'll go online in a second to show you that um, it still works as well bam need for speed no problem Well, I gotta clean that monitor. That thing is dirty. So, if I don't want to play this anymore, I just click there and go back to Xbox Home. Yes. And then I would eject this from here. Go over to Apps. And then I would just load a different game from the disc. Eject the tray. Pretend like it's opening it and then it closes it.
And there you have it. So that's how it is. Uh, <clears throat> you can still go online with it, but um, as always with going online with Microsoft, you just never know. Um, I will wait till LT 3.0 comes out to be sure that the software is safe for you to go online. But even with that, you know, going online is not always a safe need. Now, uh, none of my ISOs have been patched at all, period. Um, I'm using the X key. A2 uh, AP2 patch that's already on there when you update your files it has all that stuff already included on there for you so there you have it any questions comments concerns uh, please feel free to leave me a, um, a email or just post it in a, in a comment box and uh, thanks a lot guys I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'm able to help any of you guys that need help <laughs>